So let's talk about your book. This is a book not about real estate. It is about career advice. So why write it? It's for everybody, and I did that because it, it really appeals to three types of people, which is who I wrote this book for. The person sitting on the couch watching this, uh, figuring out their next move in their career. Uh, maybe somebody who's looking for a little more financial freedom to take care of their family. Uh, or somebody who's stalling and needs that extra boost of energy. Um, I moved out to L.A. about 12 years ago. I had nothing. I didn't have two dimes to rub together. Since then, I've sold about a billion and a half dollars worth of real estate. My experiences, my ups and downs, my, my mistakes that I made uh, sitting in boardrooms or, or my car showing houses to some of the wealthiest uh, celebrities or intelligent people on the planet and, and, and learning from them as well, there, there was lots to tell. And I figured that to put it out there was something that I had wanted to do. So you have a, a, one of your biggest mantras in the book is this ready, fire, aim. Tell me what you mean by that. The ready, fire, aim mentality, which is being able to recognize an opportunity when it's in front of you, uh, capitalizing on that opportunity. And if you fail, which I did a lot and a lot of people do, uh, bouncing back and, and rerouting, to, rerouting to success. Uh, and then the other thing that I talk about is, is calculated confidence, uh, which is something that I teach you in the book on really how to train your yourself to trust your gut. Uh, don't question your first thought, your first gut feeling, uh, and really believe in yourself. But it's also about being prepared. And you know, you give this great example of how you were on the treadmill next to Tyler Perry, and you were bold, you kind of talked him up, you ended up selling him, a, help selling his house. But you approached him and you said, are you ready to sell one of your houses? You already knew that he owned two houses, you knew where they were. You know, so isn't that also a big part of this? You have to really do the hard work. Yeah, and, and really preparing yourself to be lucky, putting yourself in situations where, where you can get lucky, where it's not so much luck, it's preparation. I tell a story about how I'm standing inside a, a line in Starbucks. And I'm not at that Starbucks because I like coffee. I'm at that Starbucks because that's where all the wealthy people and all the celebrities in Beverly Hills go every morning. I meet a guy in line in front of me. I end up showing him a house later that afternoon, and he buys a $12 million house. Some people would say that's luck. For me, it's all about being in the right place and, and there was a reason why I'm there because I'm an expert in my community and I put myself in that situation.